Okay, now we're back in the shop. I've got my bowl blanks and I got my compass or dividers out and I've gent carefully decided this end has a few cracks in it so I've moved my circle as far towards this end as I could and I have my center point right there so I've scribed this around I don't know how big that bowl is but it's going to be probably about oh, about 10 inches and I've got my center um, point and I'm going to drill this out and then connect it to my screw truck yeah. I've essentially done the same thing on this one and that bowl oh. turns out about the same size I scratched it in and I went got a pencil just to show it a little easier where the bowl where the bowl is how the bowl will line up so now I'm going to get that and drill a little pilot hole in it and mount this on the lathe if I had a good band so I'd probably chop this off I may hit it with my chainsaw a little bit this will be quite a bit out around when I put it on the lathe we'll have to start out slowly all right we're lined up in the drill press I've got the proper size bit in there and I'm just going to like I said drill a quick hole all right I got that uh, drilled out proper size I only want uh, only one about that deep only about an inch inch or so deep my screw chuck's not uh, not that deep so now I'm going to mount this up show you how I start turning it all right I got my blank it's fairly out around fairly out of whack and I've got my screw chuck mounted I'm just gonna hold the blank up to the screw chuck and twist it in I do this manually it's a lot safer I don't want to mess around with the lathe on once I get the blank mounted on the screw chuck um, I know I'm way out of balance I'm gonna be going really slow so for safety I'll turn that off turn that way down low I bring the tailstock up put the tailstock in here uh, to start with and even when I hollow I generally have the tailstock in place and I'm gonna get my face shield on my safety glasses and um, start I've got the tool rest mounted here so my tool will be on about center when I start and I'm gonna cut this direction and come out around and clean off this bark that may want to chip and round the round the corner over okay I'm gonna start got my face shield on with a half inch conventional grind powder metal bowl gouge and let's see what I can take off uh, 295 rpm so I'm going fairly slow Turn it off, you can see. I'm just 
slowly working it down. A good idea to take my ring off. Safety. Yeah, I still got some bark about getting her straightened out there. Take a look, we got a little bit of bark there. So now I'm close, I can bring it back to shape.
that's the size of my That looks like a fairly good final shape with a nice foot on it the size of my chuck. This is the only cambium layer I have in it. That's interesting. Now I reverse this, hollow out the center. And I'll leave it about three quarters of an inch thick and let it dry. This wood is the pith is here so I need to get get that removed. This is the way I cut the blank. The pith's gone on this side. I like it. <laughs> 